Welcome to our fourth round with black white tokens. Uh the mana in this hand is not going to work. Uh I'm willing to keep this though. It can interact and has a curve. I don't There's not a lot to say about it besides that. Okay, well that card probably dying sometime soon. I'm willing to wait though. If it doesn't flip, I think giving my opponent the extra mana is a pretty big deal. Yeah, let's just do that now rather than leaving it in play in the face of champ. Okay, well that's a problem. I think this is better than a five, but this happens sometimes with these hands. You can't win them all, but you can maximize your chances. This was definitely one of the maximize your chances hands. I can if I draw three lands in a row, I'm actually in like a very fine spot. Yeah, especially versus straight blue red. Though, Oriac's not the best here. That's cool, I didn't get punished. Well, I'm getting punished real soon. What is my... I guess it could be like... P, if they had P and Kieran, they would have played it. Bitter Blossom's probably not the greatest at this point. I'm pretty sure my opponent can just straight up outmaneuver this card by now. I'd rather play for drawing more lands in a row than that. I was hoping my opponent would cryptic command in response. Just my opponent bounces my flagstone in response, they just uh, LD me. Which I, I think that would have been just awesome to have to play against at this spot. Like, that's actually, if my opponent has a cryptic command, that's 100% the right play, too. Jeez, I didn't even think about that. Fine. I wanted that in my hand. What? Like these. <sighs> Not the hugest slaughter pack fan here. I like my mana. Probably trim on that effect. Even though I guess it does take that. I'm not a huge fan of that. These are actually probably the worst. Too hard to protect these. Timely's probably not the worst card in the world. This is fine. So use this to find a white black. I'm actually okay if I get like shadowed or trick binded or something. A shadow would be a blowout, but if I get like trick binded or whatever, you know, you got it. Sadly I can't kill this young pyromancer. 
as you may notice, I started that statement before my opponent casted it because it was pretty obvious what was going to happen and how dead I was going to be if that happened. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to fetch... Uh, that's fine. Because I have the Heath, so that's not an issue. I'd rather this in play if my opponent just follows up with Blood Moon. Ah, oh, that's a very big issue. Please leave the battlefield. Please? I said please, I asked nicely. Oh boy. <clears throat> this is going to get very bad very fast. Maybe I was supposed to just procession last turn. But somehow I feel like the threat of just having two pyros in play is just completely lethal. Oh my gosh, that result! I'm in the game! Loosely. For very broad definitions of in the game. Hope this is good enough. So I don't go to three to cast this worship. So that's the good news. I don't go to three if I just block these. That's the good news. Uh, I don't like that. When it has two cards, they snap bolts. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I think I have to accept defeat to another lightning bolt. It's going to kill me anyways. It's either going to kill my creature for worship, or it's going to kill me. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with... Am I dead, actually? Can I deal with that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I go to one. I would like to enter the fun and interactive magic phase. Wow. Okay. Cool. That does nothing. I go to negative 50,000. Oh, wait. Nope. That still rounds to one. <laughs> well, that's some uh, nice cards I have. Worship is a great card. Fun and fair for the whole family. I'm pretty sure my opponent's hand was just all landscape one at that point. Like, that's the only thing that makes scooping at that point reasonable. That was quick enough I get to jump in another queue. That's lucky.